Hi, my name is John and today I'll be going through how you can get better in maths by changing your mindset. Let's get into it. Bing's Academy, where we learn and grow. For most people, math seems like a very difficult subject. It's complex, it's abstract, but I think this is actually a fallacy. It's important to know that math is just like any other skill, and with enough time and enough effort and with the right mindset, you can actually be really, really good at it. This is actually a growing concern because it has actually led to some students not even studying maths in year 11 and 12 and outside of high school. What are the implications of this? Well, it's actually resulted in a lot of students actually struggling in the basic foundation and considering 94% of all jobs require some level of math, it can actually lead to your detriment. Therefore, today I'll be teaching you some strategies that you can actually use to get dramatically better at math by changing your mindset. Let's get into it. If you believe maths is hard, you are not alone. And the research really supports this, where it's really shown in the National Research Council and in the mathematics in early learning actually shows that maths is a complex domain and requires a multifaceted approach where multiple people need to work together to improve a child's ability in math. I agree with this statement because although the student is actually doing the majority and the bulk of the work, it's actually the responsibility of their parents to support and guide them if they do need additional help, as well as their teacher inside school, inside the classroom, to make sure that they are being taught the concepts that they are necessary uh, in future years, as well as making sure that they do follow the curriculum. As well as if you have a tutor, it's also their responsibility to make sure that you're not falling too behind and they are helping you, especially in areas that you are weak against. I see this happening time and time again where students in primary school and even students in high school as well who struggle in maths just don't ask for help. Yes, the responsibility is partly yours, but if you need help, just ask. The most foolish thing that you can actually do is if you actually require help and you feel like you are behind, to not ask for help. And that's the biggest thing, where if you need that extra support, go to your parents and go to your teacher and ask for it. And they definitely will help you. They're not going to be like, oh, you need help. Well, too bad. We're not going to help you. It's very unrealistic. I don't think that they will say that. But if they do, just let me know and I'll definitely help you out. And don't be afraid to do that. The earlier you ask, the better. And I think this will actually help you in the long run. The second strategy that I'll actually recommend is if you are struggling in maths, you want to be ready. This means that you have to do the groundwork and you have to be prepared before an exam or an assessment is actually arriving. So if you know that it's in a month's time, don't start in three weeks time and you only have one or two days left until the exam. You want to start as early as possible to make sure that you have the best possible chance to get the highest mark. This may involve you doing homework uh, inside uh, school, as well as asking you know, your teacher all the questions that you're not too sure about. It may require you to uh, do some additional work inside the textbook and even outside the textbook if you need that assistance. You may search particular solutions on YouTube if you're not too sure about answering a question or just ask your tutor for that additional help, whether it be doing past papers and just breaking down the questions that you are quite struggling in. Because if you're not prepared and you're not very ready, you're shooting yourself in the foot. And I think that is the worst thing you can possibly do. And for this recommendation, you want to do this sooner rather than later. Because if you do fail at a topic test, for instance, it's okay. You just want to make sure that you do focus on the next one. But if you keep telling yourself, oh, it's definitely fine. I'll just work harder uh, next time. But you actually never, it's not going to pan out well for you. Instead, if you didn't study properly for a topic exam, just make sure that you study hard in the next exam or the half yearlies. Because if you keep pushing it back, pushing it back, there is going to be a time where you can't come back from this and it is going to be detrimental for your future success. Because there is just going to be harder challenges, whether it be inside or outside the classroom, and do it sooner rather than later. The last strategy that you can actually do is actually employ and have a long-term mindset. With every skill, in order to be very proficient or very good at something, you have to spend time and effort on it. If you expect that you can actually, you know, it's like magic and you're going to watch a video or just attend a class and you're going to be really, really good at something, it's quite unrealistic unless you're a prodigy, you know, a one in a billion students or something like that. And even then, it's very unlikely that you will be very good in just a day or two. 
Instead, just realize that if you are behind or if you want to get better in maths, be consistent at it, work at it every single day for a long period of time. It might take you multiple months or even a couple of years for you to see substantial results, but do know that if you are persistent and you are actively knowing that you are, are pushing yourself and working on problems that are at a level that are quite advanced for you, then you know that you will get better and better and just keep that up. Maths is one of those subjects which requires you to work on prerequisite knowledge from the previous years, which means that if you don't practice it, and if you only do it once a week or even once a fortnight, it's going to be very hard for you to remember it. Just like any other skill, you need to be repetitive and actually work on it consistently over a period of time. So I think it is very important for you to know that for math in particular, work on it consistently and you will find success. Even if you don't consider yourself a math person, just like every skill, you can get better at this. For example, if you don't know your times tables because you haven't done it in a couple of weeks, then it is going to be very difficult for you to work on concepts that are even more advanced, such as learning an area of a shape, for instance. That requires you to do times tables and multiplying different numbers. But if you've forgotten how to do times tables, how can you even do it? Which kind of shows that you do have to be persistent and you have to work on it every day, every second day. But if you only do it once a week or twice a week, it's not gonna be enough. I think that's all for me today. So basically I cover the three strategies that you can actually employ to improve your maths dramatically by changing your mindset. One of them really centered on taking it, ask for help when you do need it, because in order for you to get better, it requires a multifaceted approach, whether it be asking a teacher, parents, or even your tutor. Number two is be ready. So when the exam is coming around and you know that you have a test coming up, just make sure you prepare for it. Bit of a no-brainer, if you don't prepare for it early on, you're not gonna be ready for it. Number three is have a long-term approach. Be persistent and work on something every single day and you will see results. It's not going to be a one and done thing where you study hard for one night and that's it. You know, you don't have to do study for the whole month. It's, it's, it's really not those type of skills. For math in particular, you wanna work on it consistently every day for a long period of time. Thank you guys. Likes, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.